Hello everyone, Matt Thompson with you on this Wednesday for another Gillette AFL trade period update. Well, Melbourne have got their man. Chris Dawes is now a demon, moving a short distance up the road from the Westpac Centre to Amy Park and will play a key role in the Demons' forward line in 2013. The exchange is pretty simple. Pick 20, as it currently stands from Melbourne, goes to Collingwood. There's also a swap of third-round draft picks. It's a pretty good day for Melbourne coach Mark Neal. Dorsey's been brought into our group to play as a key forward and he, he won't be doing the, the key forward who goes into the ruck role with us and we, th- we think he's really well suited to, to play that key forward. We talked about the long-term uh, aspect of Chris bringing to the club. He, he's 24 years of age, uh, he's a key position player. He also brings with him a, a, a lot of experience coming out of a good culture. Uh, the way that the Pies go about it is, you know, everyone respects the way that they, they play and the way they train. There's a fair bit of that in it. He's also managed to uh, play in the last five final series and he's, if you include the drawn grand final, he's played in three grand finals and cracked it for a flag. Uh, we're certainly not underestimating what that brings to our group. Look, I'd describe Dorsey as a, as a really solid citizen. He uh, is very serious about his footy and uh, he's very intelligent, you know, studying law off the field. Uh, he's, a, he's a very settled fellow. Uh, he's an aggressive trainer and, and he plays an aggressive brand of footy, which are all the things that we want. Interesting as well to note that Mark Neal is saying because Chris Dawes is going to play such a key role up forward in 2013 that we can expect Jack Watts to be playing down back again next season. Melbourne might still have a bit of work to do at the negotiating table as well. One of Scott Gumbleton or Cam Pedersen from Essendon and the North, they are the two players that remain on the Demons' radar. As far as Collingwood is concerned, well, Jeff Walsh, the football manager there, says they are pretty much done and dusted, although, as we know, the Pies had been linked with Hawthorne's Clinton Young, but it sounds like that's probably not going to happen at this stage, at least according to Jeff Walsh on that front. Now, let's get you an update on North Melbourne's Matt Campbell. As we know, he has fallen out of favour at Arden Street and has been linked today with Port Adelaide. There is a suggestion that Ben Jacobs from Port, who wants to come home to a Victorian club, might be on his way to North. At least uh, that's a watch this space one for you. One other thing that's worth talking about today as well is kind of an overall look at this trade period and the free agency period, the first time we've seen it operate in this way. Matt Finnis from the Players Association admits there is going to be a fair bit to look at once this period is over, remembering there's been a lot of debate about the way these compensation picks are going to be handed out and also the length of the period. That goes. I'm sure we'll all sit down at the end of the, the period and see what's worked and what's haven't worked, but the Players Association has been very satisfied with the free agency period to date. Matt Finnis there from the Players Association. There is no doubt this is a very interesting time in which we report to you right now. The clock is ticking. A couple of clocks still ticking at the moment. In fact, of course, we have complete coverage from all our reporters who are on the phones making calls and chasing the very latest news from the clubs they cover, as well as Trade Radio, which remains on the air for you as well. So, so much to look for here on afl.com.au. That is it for now. Keep clicking back for more. 